Capricorn rising July 2024 looks like a month where you're like I'm done I'm done showing up in the world this way I'm tired of being this person for all these different people I'm ready to bury or end a chapter of my life so I can wholeheartedly embrace this beautiful energy that you're swimming in now the journey for you begins on the second to the third when Venus and Cancer in your seventh house of important one-on-one -on -one relationships partnerships makes a trine aspect to Saturn and Pisces in your third house of communication and perception gives me the impression that you've been self-disciplined about protecting your peace at all costs by which I mean controlling your train of thought you are adopting or have been feeding a growth mindset simultaneously Mercury is entering Leo at this time in your eighth house of financial health long-term investments sex and intimacy so this is where your mind is at these are the themes that you're focused on what do you invest in financially spiritually and emotionally and thoroughly considering the ROI on the fifth, we have a new moon in Cancer in your seventh house of important one-on-one -on -one relationships. So do you have a new business partnership? Are you upgrading somebody that you're in a relationship with? Are you meeting somebody new? It's lovely and whatever it is that's coming into your life, it feels like they belong and it feels like you belong there lovely on the 11th we have venus and cancer in your seventh house making a trine aspect to neptune and pisces in your third because there is this new beginning that feels just like over the top amazing it's giving you clarity on how your previous old mindset old ways of seeing relationships partnerships the world yourself contributed to your downfall i feel like this is very related to relationships but it doesn't have to be it's just that somebody that you are looking at is showing you how great life is because you made necessary adjustments to your lifestyle and to your perception. Also on the 11th, we have Venus entering Leo in your eighth house of sex, intimacy, and shared resources. Venus is gifts. It is this feeling of pleasantness. And so are you landing sweet deals? Are you getting a sweet deal on a house? Are you having really spiritual, soulful, sensual interactions with someone that you genuinely care about? On the 12th, we have Venus and Leo making an opposition to Pluto and Aquarius in your second house. Pluto in the second can feel like you're being uh, financially manipulated by a situation. And so it feels like a push and pull between what is yours and what is ours. So maybe you're wanting to invest in one direction, but you can't because you're still tied up with something or with someone that is draining your finances or they're making it difficult for you to fully charge forward in this new direction. On the 14th to the 16th, we have Mars conjunct Uranus and Taurus in your fifth house of passion, creativity, and children. So if you're in a situationship, that person is acting erratic. Now, I do feel like these are, if you're in the situation, these are two different people. The person that you're having this brilliant brand new beginning with is not the same person who's causing chaos. So this could be an ex, or this could just be a moment in time where it's difficult for you to channel your creative juju into real life, into the 3D existence <laughs> on the 21st to the 23rd mars and taurus in your fifth makes a trine aspect to pluto in aquarius so whatever is being disruptive in your creative space or with a situation ship is somehow highlighting the ways in which your desire for power and control has like attracted these experiences. It's illuminating, but it's very uncomfortable. This could also be like you flushing out any toxic ties that you have, cutting them. On the 21st, we have a full moon in Capricorn in your first house of physical identity, uh, body self style, kind of the exact thing that I said at the beginning of this, you're done being somebody. You are emotionally fed up. You felt burdened by the ways in which you used to engage in life. There's no stone left unturned. You're like, so glad that's over. <laughs> and then we have Mars in Gemini the same day in your, where is this? In your sixth house of day-to-day -day routines, health and wellness. So you're putting a lot of blood, sweat and tears either into collaborating with coworkers or maintaining your health and wellness. 
On the 22nd, we have the sun entering Leo, your eighth house of sex, intimacy, and shared resources. The sun indicates the gravitational pull. So you move from focusing on partnerships in the beginning of the month to at the end of the month, financial health, investing financially, spiritually, and emotionally. There is intensity here. There is something about what we're doing during this time period that makes it very difficult to separate. So there is a sense of permanence or merging that is taking place. On the 26th, we have Mercury entering Virgo in your ninth house of long distance travel, higher education. And so Mercury is the mind. Your mind is focused on either booking a long distance trip or enlisting in an online course, acquiring a degree or certification. That is what I got for you, Capricorn. I hope that you enjoy. Toodles. Bye.